Well, hey everybody, Matt Kleskowski here, and uh, I've got a tip that it, it'll work wonders for the skies in your landscape photos. Because, you know, to me, the, the sky sometimes is one of the most important parts of an outdoor photo. And if, if you're like me, you know, if you set up your camera to, to expose for the foreground areas in your photo, a lot of times the skies come out too bright, right? And that's just because while we can stand there and look at it and our eyes can see all these differences, our cameras our cameras don't have the range uh, to see all that difference inside of there. So we have to do something to, uh, to help bring out some of that detail. We can use a graduated neutral density filter on the lens in the field. Um, I'm not personally a huge fan of it. It's more gear. It's more to worry about when you're out there and you're very, very restricted uh, in what you can do. And once you do it on the photo, it's kind of done. So I prefer to come over here and grab the graduated filter over inside a Lightroom because it gives me so much more flexibility. Now, here's a, you know, I've, I did a tip like this a while ago and I've kind of added to it, which is why I wanted to uh, to recap here. I usually just bring the, the exposure slider down, all right, and then click and drag. And you can see we've got a ton of detail there and I can, I can kind of tweak that. Um, we can go in here with the highlight slider, and, and I've been guilty about doing this in the past myself. Um, if you if you kind of overdo the highlights, the the only word that I can think for it is it just starts to look funky. Your your brighter highlights in the photo just start to look weird, which is why it's tough to really bring down the sky with just the highlight slider. Okay, I might do a little bit of it, but I'm gonna do the bulk of it with the exposure slider. Now, the problem with the exposure slider is the same problem that we have if we were to do this in camera, which is we, we, we've, got a dark, um, we've got a dark background back there, right? It's, it's gonna be dark anywhere where that filter, that graduated neutral density filter goes over, gets really dark. Well, by doing it here inside a Lightroom, we also have access to the shadow slider. And watch the difference here. See that? So it brings out all of that detail in that background, um, but yet it's not really messing with the sky because the sky's not a shadow. The sky's a, a brighter area in the photo, so it's really just working on this darker area. You could argue we could go in here and use the brush on it, but that's gonna get pretty tedious, especially if you have a lot of trees and everything in here. This is just a nice, quick way um, to help, you know, help regain some of that detail that was back there without doing a ton of work and spending a ton of time on the photo. So if you take a look here, that's the before. Just click that little toggle switch down there. That's the before, that's the after. Again, that's the before and there is your after. So we're able to bring back a lot of detail there and we don't have to spend a lot of time doing it. Folks, thanks so much for watching and giving me a couple minutes here. I hope you liked the video and if you wanna see more, by all means, just click the subscribe button because I've got a ton of them and you can also find more if you stop by the website over at mattk.com.